Today on the Rumors Comedy Cast, Jordan Wellwood talks to Just for Laughs Nasty Show veteran Mike Wilmot about people fearing death and doing comedy all over the world. Subscribe on iTunes, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, at Rumors Comedy. Ian McKellen and I were doing coke off the back of a crippled toilet. The toilet worked fine. It was for cripples. <laughs> it, was, it was a spacious hand. Handicapped toilet is what I was trying to say. We're here with Lord Mike Wilmot. Sir Ian McKellen and I doing lines off the back of a toilet. Scotland, Edinburgh, 19 and, tw- and something. I almost said 20. 1920? Yeah. Something. Pre world. 20th century. century. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Those days, gone, dead and gone, those days. Now, what have you been doing yourself since? Uh, nothing really. I, I do a lot of running. Just running. Okay, cool. Try, try to stay healthy. <laughs> After that blow incident yeah. of the 20s. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was horrible. No, uh, no years ago, I worked with uh, Gandalf. It was fantastic. We did a big AIDS uh, benefit called the Stonewall Benefit. And I brought him on stage, and he kissed me in front of 3,000 people. So I dunked him and squeezed his ass. Because you're not outdoing <laughs> me. You're not stealing the light. What kind of kiss was it? It was a nice, nice one, a friendly yeah. one. He didn't slip me the tongue. Okay. No, but I almost slipped one to just him to, just to overdo it. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll go gayer than you. <laughs> you want to build a G card? That should be the name of this episode, I'll go gayer than you. Uh, <clears throat> All right. 28, Rumors Comedy Cast here. Uh, Mike's first night in town, just got in. Uh, how was the show for you tonight? They were... Uh... No, it was... <laughs> There's a sound. What sums it up? I, I'm not big on uh, making it a country thing or a provincial thing. Yeah, it's an area of the globe we're in right now mm-hmm. that older women make this noise. Oh, <laughs> and, and I like that noise. Yeah, I, I, I was going to say, how does that make noise? They're make not. Feel? They're not. They're not offended. Yeah, it's, it's sort of like oh. <laughs> they're trying to convince yeah. themselves not to laugh. You're saucy. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> you had them all like I saw the blue hairs like you had them all going by the end of the show it was you won what they, it's honest yeah and I hate that bullshit yeah when people say that but it is yeah I have all women in my life and it all has to be okayed by them you that, that's your, kind of your process you run it by so run it by isn't a process yeah I've got a disorder and I keep saying the same thing over and over until it works <laughs> yeah fair enough Running material. Yeah, whether it's in front of family. I don't have any friends anymore. It's all showbiz people. Showbiz people? You wouldn't consider them friends? Uh, no. No. I'd burn you in a second. <laughs> Do you burn them? Uh, no, the- no, I'm a good person. Oh, okay. I'm a, I'm a fantastic person. <laughs> yeah. I'm talking about your Gilbert Gottfrieds, your Artie Legs, your whoever I worked with recently. <laughs> yeah, you just uh, came off the nasty show just for laughs. Uh, we were talking about it a little bit yes. earlier. Uh, this, How many times have you done it now? I was trying to figure that out the whole yeah. time I was there. Uh, many. Because mm-hmm. I would say 10. Yeah, upwards of Probably more. Cool, cool. Probably more. Yeah. I, I only remember about four of them. Uh, Is it, it kind of a party? Is it? Like- no, it's the nasties go, there's 16 shows. Like, you don't stop. Jeez, yeah. It goes through the French shows. It goes into the end. Yeah. So you're, no one's doing more shows than that. It's a cash cow for the festival. Okay. Without us, there'd sold be out. no other shows. It seems to go that way. Like, even the Winnipeg Fest, the Dark and Stormy show is sold out, like, first. Of course. Yeah. That's what comedy is, yeah. whether it's clean or whether it's still someone talking yeah. and saying things. And people would rather hear people say things in dark rooms that you can't say in, in uh, polite society. Things they're thinking but don't get to say often. Yeah. Or not even knowing they were thinking it. I think that's where comedy is. Yeah. They'd sing along if they were thinking it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Then it'd be horrible. <laughs> we were just thinking that instead of laughter. Yeah, that would be bad. You're right. Wow. D- you did it again. <laughs> they're just finishing your punchline. Well, that's right. Your certain comedian stylings are like that where you just you get a lot of nodders. Yeah. Like, oh, that's, it is, he is, uh, even though I'm not letting him finish his sentence, let's talk over him. To agree or, uh, you know, kind of. Oh, that's like your Aunt Helen. Remember, she used to oh. do that with the, with the whatever, <laughs> vegetables. So I, I kind of want to know what Aunt Helen was doing with those vegetables. It's always Helen. That's, is that your go-to name? It is now. Yeah. Helen and Murray. Murray. That's the couple. It used to be Bob. But I'm Murray, I, I like to Jew it up. Is it Murray a Jewish name? That sounds Jew. Murray Slaughter, Mary Tyler Moore. 
Barry. It sounds great. <laughs> if you say it like kind of with a with a Jewish accent, then it sounds Jewish. Yeah. Barry. Well, well you're like any comedian, it's yeah. worth his salt. I I am turning Jewish. Okay. Yeah. It's just happening. It just happens. Yeah. It just one day you wake up. One day, yeah. <laughs> See how nice that was. One day, one day. I got to look forward to. For um, Jews and the Irish have the cadence for comedy, yeah. and Black Americans. Yeah. That that and, and Italian Americans. Okay, the like Don Herrera. Yeah, right. You know, yeah, the English are cute, but <laughs> but the <laughs> Irish. Cool. I'm watching Dylan Moran is like, or or or, or Tommy uh, Tiernan is like watching uh, a great jazz singer. Yeah, right. It just the, the 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 wilt to it and the rhythm of it is beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. And you were raised uh, Toronto. Uh, what's it, Toronto? Uh, Scarborough. Scarborough, okay. But uh, close to yeah. the truth. I'm, I'm about 40 feet. Okay. Actually, to be quite honest with you, I'm about 400 yards from Toronto. Yeah. Everyone's from Toronto now. They've, they've, they've done that. But uh, yeah, uh, the, the end of the street, what was the difference? Oh, on that side, you have to pay to get into public pools. <laughs> oh, that was, that was the, the only difference. That was, yeah. On our side, we don't pay for pools. <laughs> it's a, like those assholes. It's a nightmare that anyone can get in. Who wants to live in Toronto with your <laughs> yeah. 50 cent pool charge? <laughs> it was probably, if you had a taste of that pool life, you might have wanted it. Oh, you might have wanted it. You <laughs> yeah. got that kind of money. You got <laughs> 50 cents. Back then, the, it was one coin was 50 cents. I, I made know, that up. I don't think it's that. Which camera's doing this? I think up between. Who watches these? Anybody? Oh, we got a, a big fan base. <laughs> One guy here. Who's I so did a podcast with a kid I was living with. Well, living with. That sounded really, you know, I was grooming him. Yeah. We were in a, some, an apprentice. Some place in, uh, in, uh, in L.A. And he was living in, the, in this back house renting a room. Mm -hmm. And I did his podcast. And it turns out he had less of a listenership than the people living in that building. Wow. So what, what, why don't we just do this on the couch? It's going to catch on. It's going to no, yeah, yeah. snowball yeah, these, once you... These uh, podcasts are doing quite well. You do a lot? Do you do like a lot of podcasts in your time? I just came back from Montreal. Yeah. Yeah, you, I couldn't get to the toilet without doing four. Yeah. What's the through line? Like, just so we know here. Like, what's the, what's the most common... I just fall. I, I, you just... I go, I, go, I, go, I go broad. Even the ones that are I'll drink this down and go, ah, <laughs> and then, and then my, I will be... My head will bleed. <laughs> and at least and you're you, having and fun. you do have to call an ambulance because I'm going to be in a lot of pain. We've discussed adding a drinking game element into our video cast. You need something. Yeah. There's got to be some sort of... We're still in the... It's a developmental phase. What? Episode 20... 27? <laughs> yeah. It's an we we just decided yesterday to talk to each other. Yes. Was, uh, the first 26 were shit. <laughs> just two guys prattling on different things. Phone call. One was a comedian, the other guy's a scuba diver. Didn't even work. <laughs> that would be probably How do you, do, you, do, you, do you like this? I don't even know. What, I was going to fake being a scuba diver there for a minute. But no I, scuba knowledge. Uh, how's your regulator? It's regular. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I, I pulled that one out of my ass, which you What's, don't do when you're scuba diving. <laughs> Can lead to vapor lock. I, yeah, oh, yeah, that's the last thing you want. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. Neither, no, no, no just, just back away. Okay. Back away from I'm vapor off. lock. I'm done. Uh, <laughs> you've performed all over the world. Uh, it's kind of one kind of common question that we ask on the podcast, and you probably have a lot of different uh, interesting answers. Is just uh, worst, worst gig. That's always something people want to hear about. And uh, you can go per like by country, worst country gig, or you can just go a specific venue, maybe early part of career well, versus late, whatever you want. I if my can pick one personal up. worst gig, hell gig, yeah, was uh, many years ago the Rivoli in Toronto, where the Kids in the Hall started, uh, Mump and Smoot, these amazing uh, clowns that did just like beautiful stuff. So Dan Rennickin, guys, I really uh, admired. Mm -hmm. And I was a, a, just a, a putz working in fucking strip clubs and shit bars. What were you doing in the strip clubs? Comedy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you'd, you'd hope. Okay. It would have been comedy either way. Yeah. And uh, I got a gig at the Riv. I was so happy. And it was guys like uh, Corky and Juice Pigs helped me get that gig. Mm -hmm. And I just, I was horrible. It was my fault it's completely. Just, I was out of well step. And it was so... So quiet, and they weren't rude. 
there was no heckles. There was no, there was nothing to even make it exciting. Oh man! It was just I could hear that. I could hear, but not see. Hear what you hear? Yeah. So I heard that from people in the back row. I heard, <laughs> oh, no. I heard distant ice. <laughs> the sound. Well, of I was trying. Forty yards. And away. blah 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 blah. Were you screaming? All the nonsense? air <laughs> got sucked out of the room. Jesus. And I love the room. It's still a great, cool, hip room in Toronto. And I play it now and I adore it. Yeah. But in my heart of hearts, I know that that bomb is still in there somewhere. That's, you can pick that out. In like, the in darkness. Hand. Yeah. Just hanging there. Like, remember Ghost? Those black, <laughs> like, just misty people that dragged you to hell? <laughs> That was my bomb, and it's still in that room. Oh, man, it's still, oh. yeah, you can smell no, it. No, I, I could never pinpoint it to a country, although if you are going to be hated mm -hmm. anywhere in England, where they, they, they could really gang up on you. That's kind of, they have the reputation yeah. of... Uh, but uh, I've been very lucky there. Yeah. Because it's the other way. that I've seen when, when you're hated. Yeah. I, it's horrible. But if they love you, they adopt you. So it's the extreme one or the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no middle ground. And our Canadians, uh, Paul Meyerhog was just in town, and, and he worked. Paulie got me into my flat in London not too long ago. Yeah, I was, I was, as North Americans go, it was me, Corky the Juice Pigs, and Greg Proops mm -hmm. were the first few. Ron Vaudry did one of the Edinburghs with Harland, okay, as well before me. Yeah, but. Uh, I was one of the first idiots to stay. Yeah. Because it was just cool. You were having fun. Yeah. I felt yeah. like Dexter Gordon must have felt like in Europe. Yeah. But yeah. Like, right when he thought jazz was dead. <laughs> and he, oh, wait, no, here. It's back. Yeah. I, it's I hear that. Yeah. And I'm, I'm like that now because Britain's too big. And I'm thinking, you know, Norway, there's a buzz about Norway, which okay. there is. There's, Norway's a hot pocket. That's the next comedy. up and coming. You heard it. You what? heard it here at the. What are uh, Norway, like, what would that be? How would you, Norwegians? That's the yes, word. Yes, <laughs> Jordan. It took me a while to actually, yes. yeah, but they, I nailed they, it. They put their, their country's name at the beginning of that, so it's easy to remember. <laughs> oh, okay, gotcha, yes. yeah. I'm like Canadians it. are from Canada. Okay, there you go. Canucks. Nor, okay, yeah. No, Norux? <laughs> that, nope, that, that doesn't went work. Down the yeah. Uh, so are you the regular host? Yeah, yeah, yeah they okay. bring me in sure. once in a while to okay. bother the headliners. Uh, what have you performed there before, and what are the what are those audiences like? It's Northern Europe. They're yeah. renowned for being a bit stiff. Yeah, but because they're practical people, they they the 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 Brits call them squareheads. But uh, once they adopt you again, there you're on board. Oh, yeah, there's some, uh, you can see it. There used to be a gig in Amsterdam, or still is. That when I first played it, they weren't even quite sure what the hell you were doing. Okay, and then. They fell in love with it. It's like anything. The art form's like new there to yeah, that. So yeah, you, yeah. So you hear like the stylings of comedy from the sixties there, like oh yeah, how weird are words? How do those words sound? <laughs> like those kind of jokes. <laughs> yeah. And uh, but eventually, like look at Britain right now. When when I first went out there, they were out of step with what I would call cool comedy. Would have been America. Okay. But now. The Brits are better at it. They've caught up and and, and almost yeah. surpassed. Yeah, and now uh, America's cool again because there's no money in it. Yeah. So now uh, people with a proper disorder are back in the industry. That's what ruins it is money. Money. And, yeah. Television. Yeah. But once once the, the, there's no longer comedy fans in the room, you, you, and, and then there's television fans in the room. It, yeah. It, it, gets, it, gets, a, it gets shit. That's a great point. Definitely. They're, they're television fans. Like the Kardashians, like, te yeah. Television fans go to comedy clubs to hear comedians talk about television. Yeah, well, once they leave the house, which is hey, how stupid is that television? <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> you watch it every day, every second of every day. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> because you're scared of death. Do you have a place? <laughs> well, aren't we? I all? just jump to that <laughs> every time. Why? Because you're scared of death. It's a pretty uh, good universal answer to it. Yes, because you are. Admit it. You're scared of it. You, uh, I welcome it. <laughs> well, you're fighting it off right now with your back. No, I'm fighting a shit death. A shit death. Oh, you want to die like in battle. 
No, I'm not bad. Like, oh, okay. I, uh, I'm, I, I'm dieting. Yeah. I got uh, type 2 diabetes, and I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to just take the pills, so I started running. That's great, I've lost... I don't even... I haven't even counted. Yeah. Quit smoking cigarettes. I sound horrible, but I have a, a real call. <laughs> That's... <laughs> I have, you know, since I, a year ago, I started working out, mm -hmm. running, and, and eating right. I haven't eaten the aspirins. No, yeah. I haven't. I haven't uh, had to do any of that crap. It's, yeah. it's. I feel other than this sound I make, I can barely hear myself. Plus, my ears are plugged from the plane. Plus, I'm an old Jew. You, <laughs> the point is, is like you, you lost some weight. You're sleek. You're enjoying it. Like you feel better. Yes. Yeah. And like your comedy now, like do you feel like how has that been affected just by the overall change? Like do you just more material, or are you, you know, have more energy on stage? I, I, I have a. I know. I, I, I want to attack the road again. Yeah. I have that energy. I want. I'm going to be hitting the road now for. I'm lucky that I can. I can. I, I can book myself for a, you know a year ahead or so. Mm -hmm. So I don't have that kind of panic that a lot of the younger guys have. Yeah. So I'm going to take full advantage of that and just hit the road. I'm going to go I'm here for another month, mm -hmm. Canada, and yeah. then uh, I'm off to Europe for four months. Yeah. Then I'll be home for two months That's and then America. back to Britain for another four. Wow. And I'm, I'm just dying to get started. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're starting here right now. Yeah, I've been, yeah. Uh, I, I started... In Australia, just a few months ago. Okay. And I, I, it's so much easier now that I'm feeling better. Yeah. And, like, it's cool to hear, though, just how, like, comedy is becoming more of a global thing instead of, and, like, Australia has a pretty good, like, it's great comedy scene there. Well, not a, it's like, not a scene. It's just about, they have great festivals. It's like okay. Canada. Okay. Yeah. We have a shit comedy scene, mm -hmm. but we have great festivals. Yeah. And uh, Australia has a great festivals and shit scene. Uh, uh, Britain has a couple good festivals, but a great comedy scene. Yeah. And right now, Hollywood uh, and New York yeah. are starting to become the coolest places to tell jokes. That's awesome. Yeah, like the coolest crowds, anyway. Yeah, yeah, they're kind of hip and they're fans. Like yeah. Like you said, yeah, they're not TV watchers. They're not TV fans. Yeah. And if they are TV fans, they watch, like, you know, Drunk History and, and, good, <laughs> and good fucking... And adult swim, yeah. proper fucking television. Good. What's, uh, uh, if I could ask you, like, obviously TV's not the number one priority, but what are you watching? What do you like to uh, watch? Comedy-wise? Yeah. I haven't seen it yet. I saw the first season I watched it all in one city was uh, BoJack Horseman. Okay, yeah, the Netflix special. Love it. And I'm yeah. worried about the next season because the BoJack Horseman Christmas special was shit. Okay. Because something tells me they got rid of writers or they didn't want to give them more money. There was a changeover. Yeah. I, it's, it, it does sort of... Yeah. So I'm nervous. Mm -hmm. But they've got Paul F., who I love. Yeah. Patton Oswalt can do no wrong. Will, <laughs> the penguin Will Arnett is, yeah. is great. So I uh, I just hope for a, a good season, too. Yeah, fair enough. Because I can watch that on my stupid little phone. Yeah, and when you're hitting the road. And yeah. Yeah, Netflix has changed the game for sure. Uh, do you ever, like, have you done any writing for television movies and stuff? Like, is that ever been? No, I, I've done a couple of television shows and films where they've let me improvise, but it's always uh, through my lack of skill of memorizing. Oh, there you go. I know basically where we're supposed to go. <laughs> and then you get there. And we get there eventually. Yeah. But no, I've never, uh, I don't have the mind for it. Comedy, stand-up is perfect for me. Yeah. I don't, I'm not, uh, barely, I can barely spell. <laughs> well, there's no spelling. Like, if you were to read what I say, I don't think you'd laugh. <laughs> Like if you read something Derek Edwards does, you'd laugh. Yeah, because it's perfect. Yeah, uh, I'm, 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 people are just enjoying Your style my, works for you. my yeah. disorder. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad this poor bastard plead Your with thoughts. the crowd. Yeah. yeah, I'm glad there's room for both of us. <laughs> oh, cool, man. Um, while you're in town, you have any special plans? Or are you just going to enjoy yourself? Maybe, uh, maybe. I'm trying to remember what I used to do in this town for fun. This was it. Oh, it was to stand up here and and, the, and hanging out in the gort. Hanging out at the because I used to come out here always. It was always the winter and viciously cold. And there was an atrium at the gort. Okay, where yeah, you could get breakfast served. You could smoke in indoors the atrium. by the pool, and it was minus thirty outside, but you could pretend it was sunny. Oh wow, and lovely. That sounds did awesome. a lot of that. 
then, and then the rest of it I don't know. That should bring back smoking indoors. That's fantastic. Uh, <laughs> no, that'd be awful. Now that I've quit, no. <laughs> smoking on planes and stuff. I was at insane. a gig in Switzerland where the girl went, does your character smoke? And I said, yes. And they had a little pack of cigarettes, Marlboro Reds, open and fanned out slightly. Wow. For my performance. For your character. And I smoked that entire pack. I was up there for 90 minutes. Chain smoking. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> wonderful. Yeah. And my voice is better than this is right now. Because I do have a call. It's your signature voice, man. No, it's better than this now. <laughs> I can hit another. I can hit two tones. You've been singing, singing in the shower. Uh, that's a bullet. Okay. Well, yeah. well okay. Uh, come check out Mike. He's going to be here for the rest of the week. Uh, your Twitter handle? Like Wilmot? I don't want people. No? no. You're not a big on Twitter? Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm there. But he's, he's Mike there. Wilmot, one. Where's the number one? Number one. And I don't mean number one as in a cocky number one. There was, there was, there's another Mike Wilmot. I just, they said, put a number in the end. I said, one. There you go. Yeah, he's a nice kid. That makes him too. We've met. Oh. He wanted to give me my own name back. Not to sell it to you? No, no. He's That's a good, good boy. Okay. So I told him, now, fuck, fuck off. I like the fact more people are following you. Now. <laughs> it leaves less, yeah. less work for you. Uh, you can check me out. At same thing. Uh, I don't do a whole lot, but Instagram is more. But check him out. Check it out. If you're really bored. If you, look, if you check me out and you're a young comedian, eventually it's going to turn to hate. Okay. Because I'm busy. I'm doing wonderful things with amazing, talented people. Yes. But if you want to you want to get a ground zero. Just an investment. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah. Let's, let's, yay, let's <laughs> back you, Jordan. This is so sincere. I love it. And uh, <laughs> cheers, buddy. Cheers, pal. Thanks for coming. My coming. Nice. I was here anyway. Yeah, thanks for being Fuck. forced thanks, into thanks contractually for doing this podcast. <laughs> thanks for staying <laughs> extra. Uh, Wait on John. Johnny boy. He got here. Eventually. Stupid. Now show. we get to ride in my van. I can take you back to the condo. Oh, God. You know, this, your whole side of your van is falling off. Oh, yeah. It's not going to be there in a no, week. It's a passenger side, so what do you give a shit? <laughs> exactly. Take me to that dumb car. I'm not leaning out the window of the passenger side. You can't. Yeah, no, it'd fall. The door will fall off. It's horrible. What did you drive when you were... I don't know how to drive. I'm just complaining. <laughs> <laughs> you never got a license? No. Oh, would you like me behind the wheel of a car? No, no. No, I'm starting to... No, no, I'm a... I'm a, I'm a, I'm a no. I'm a, I'm a clencher. People would die. Clench up in, in situations involving other vehicles. Not cool. This is really falling apart. It does. You, you have to wrap this up. We ended a while ago. 26 of these? 28. 28? Yeah. That was my new favorite part. All right, oh, we're thanks. done. Yeah. Jordan's van, that's going up.